guys. You're gonna wanna pull your popcorn up for this one. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do this documentary style highlight effect that you see on the screen as I'm speaking. And it's actually way more simple than you think it actually is. It's just, we're gonna be working in Fusion. And before you ask, yes, you can work in the free version of Fusion. But anyways, if you guys are new here, my name is Ryan. I help other editors get saucy and DaVinci Resolve. I also sell products to other editors like you. So the creator bundle is actually 40% off right now. So go get it while it's still available. But without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the video. So in here, you guys are obviously going to need some sort of screenshot that you want to highlight. So all I did was how to be consistent because that was the video that I was doing it about. And I just found this nice little um, Indeed post about how to be consistent. So all I did was just take a screenshot on my MacBook. Right now, with that being said, there does need to be some base layer footage. In this video, I'm just going to grab like a random clip of me talking. So that way we could put it in the background because it really doesn't need to be long. But obviously, you're going to be working with some sort of clip. So just have a base layer clip. And then once you have your screenshot in, resize it to your liking. So I'm just gonna zoom in just like this, zoom in a little more. And I'm gonna come to right where it says how to be consistent. And you want it to put it however long that you want it. So like right here, I have it, you know, I'm gonna put it up to when this clip ends right there. I cut it there. I'm gonna come here and double click and create a new compound clip. Now this is where the magic is gonna happen. So you're just gonna come into the Fusion page. Make sure your inspector tab is open. Make sure you have it as big as you can get it like this. Um, and then with the media one selected, you're just gonna come and hit a background. Now you're gonna want this merge here and then we're just gonna highlight all these and center it just like this. Now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna make this background color, you know, whatever color you want it to be. So you want it to be like a you know, darker yellow, lighter yellow. We're gonna hit that one for now. Then we're gonna come here, we're gonna come to the uh, come to the merge and go to the apply mode and we're just gonna simply do linear burn. Now with the background one selected, I'm literally just gonna select this rectangle mask just like this. And as you can see, you can already tell what we're about to do. We're just gonna place this right over our subject. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then to, to make sure you're looking at it correctly, you can you can zoom to fit and make sure it's looking all good. You know, we're looking good right now. So if you want, you can always go change the color to it as well, but we're gonna keep it just like that for now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these two by hitting Command C, we're gonna Command V them. We're gonna place this back in the timeline by holding Shift just like that. So now you can see we have another one. Now this is where it'll get a little tricky because you wanna make sure that you match them up pretty much identical um, because you don't want any like white space being left out or anything. So we're gonna come here and make sure this is all good. Make sure it's, you know, right over here. It's all good. By doing that, just click out, make sure it looks good. Um, probably gonna move it around just a little bit more. Just like that. Now we have everything we need. Um, and then this is the part of the, the part where it's gonna, you know, actually animate in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the first rectangle, hit Command C and then Command V and attach it to this merge one, just like that. Now, as you can see here, you can see we have a write on effect, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, because I know that I'm gonna have a zoom in for the first 15 seconds. So I'm gonna come to frame 15 and uh, I'm just gonna simply start it at, obviously when it's not in the frame, come in about 40 frames later, to 40, frame 40, sorry, um, and then just put it back to right there. Okay, perfect. So now if you can see, we have this right on effect. And then what we're gonna do is, this is very important. So as soon as this one's done, we're gonna come here and do the same thing. Command C, Command V, attach that to the merge one right there. Um, and then with this one, we're gonna start it at the exact same time. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna make sure it's off the frame, obviously. And then we're going to set a keyframe and then go to frame, you know, 60, 65, whatever, and then simply go back to where it was. Just like that. Now, if we play this back, boom, boom, right? That's good. But what, what are we gonna do to really sauce this up? What you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the spline and you wanna do one at a time. So do the first one, hit Command A to highlight it. <clears throat> now double click and hit Ease and go to Out Cubic. This animation really does matter. So I'm gonna bring it to an animation like that. So it's gonna be a really slow animation like that. Um, you can really mess with it to your liking, honestly, but something like that 
right? And then we're gonna uncheck mark that one and do the similar thing. Command A, double click, ease, and then out cubic. And you can play around with this animation even more to your liking. So we're gonna do something a bit different this time, but pretty similar. So like right there, so boom, boom. That one was a little too fast in the beginning. So I'm gonna bring it up like that. So boom, boom. This right here is to your liking, to whatever animation you wanna do. You just drag these little bars right here and you mess with it however what you would want it to look like. So I want mine to look like that. Now I'm gonna uncheck mark this line and I'm gonna spline. I'm gonna come up here and hit fit. Now if we play this back, we have boom, boom, right? Some may stop there, but, but what you could do to really make this look better, what can you do? So we're gonna add this blur right here, add it on to your timeline right, right here, and then we're gonna bring this obviously in the middle of how to be consistent, so right about there and then we're just going to turn that strength to about 0.26 so now if you zoom in to about 200 it's all blurry you know all the way back here it's all blurry and stuff so kind of like the documentary type style look so we're going to hit zoom to fit now that we have that blur on there now we're going to hit damage we're going to hit shift space and search for a film damage now this is where the the magic really does happen so there's a few settings that you need to do in order to make this look the best factor you want but for the temp shift we're going to turn it a little more white we don't want it completely yellow right so we're going to do about point point one of a of a tint because it has the perfect amount of look like look at this look right here already um, and then with this scratch we're going to simply turn the scratch we need to move the scratch all the way over here because we don't want it messing up our text and stuff like that and everything else should should be good um now we have this right how to be consistent and then the animation ends like right here so now we're going to add the the majority of the animation now so like what we're going to do to do that is we're going to grab um go to my effects panel and in here, I have something that's called Magic Zoom, which is completely free with the link in the description. Um, everyone knows what is Magic Zoom in, but it basically just zooms in for you and it makes it look like this. So that's already good enough. So we're gonna come here, do a fusion overlay and just kind of place it like right in the middle. I'm gonna come here and actually uh, zoom in a bit more but we don't wanna zoom in too much. And the reason why, we'll sh I'll show you in a second. So, so as you can see, it starts zooming in on my video already. That's key. And then when it zooms in, it zooms into the the paper, the kind of like a paper style effect, right? And what you can do, guys, is pair this up with my sound effect bundle down below. There are some paper effects that you can use. I'll show you guys um, with my short form sound effect content. You guys can create this and make it sound more realistic. But um, anyways, now that you have the magic zoom zooming in just like this into your frame, and you have um, this is the key essential part is you need this this video down below not interfering with magic zoom and the reason why is because we're going to select all of this and obviously you want this to come out like that we're going to select all of this with the magic zoom and everything and we're going to simply double click and create a new compound clip the reason we do this is so that that way i don't have to tamper with the zoom now that all it's just all one clip so now what i can do is i can come into the fusion page and right here what I could do is I can add a transform node and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a keyframe on center and size and I'm just going to go to the complete end so right here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in to where it's it's completely in the frame and by doing that we're going to make it look something like this and that's using the center controls and the size controls so now as you can see it comes in and then it just kind of goes like that right super slow zoom documentary styled zoom okay and you don't have to touch any keyframes that would be like probably the only time you would use linear keyframes be just just because that just looks the best it will look um now what are we gonna do is so right here is where it transforms into this so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this film leader effect that i have um if you guys want me to drop these i handmade these so let me know down in the comments below but look it just comes in papers in like that, boom, makes it look 10 times more like the documentary style effect. So it goes like, boom, comes in, highlights, highlights. So that's the 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 highlight documentary style, whatever you wanna call it, effect. Um, now what we're gonna do here just to spice this up is I'm gonna come to my sound effect pack and I'm just gonna grab, you know, let's just do this paper one right here. Um, I'm gonna turn it down and I'm just gonna turn this to uh, mono. And then now, as you can see, has that paper effect to it. Adds the character to it, adds the character to the actual, like 
effect itself. Now you guys are done. It's as simple as that. Now you have done the documentary styled effect. Um, super cool effect. I love it so much. You guys can use this on short form content or long form content. It is completely up to you. Take this effect that I taught you and apply it to any sort of video that you would ever want to. That is going to conclude this video. And guys, don't forget, cop the creator bundle down below. It's 40% off right now. And it comes with those sound effects that I use in this video, as well as more plugins. It's a perfect start if you're a beginner or advanced. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot with this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.